Hi friends, and today the story I have for you is The Day Jimmy's Boa Ate the Wash. How was your class trip to the farm? Oh, boring, kind of dull until the cow started crying. A cow crying. Yeah, you see a haystack fell on her. But a haystack just doesn't fall over by itself. It does if a farmer crashes into it with his tractor. Oh, come on, a farmer wouldn't do that. He would if he were too busy yelling at the pigs to get off the school bus. What were the pigs doing on a school bus? Eating our lunches? Why were the pigs eating your lunches? Because we threw their corn at each other and they didn't have anything else to eat. Well, that makes sense. But why were you throwing corn? Because we ran out of eggs. Out of eggs? Why were you throwing eggs? Because of the boa constrictor? The boa constrictor? Yeah, you see, Jimmy brought his pet boa constrictor. What was Jimmy's pet boa constrictor doing on the farm? Oh, he brought it to meet other farm animals. But the chickens didn't like it. You mean he took it to the hen house? Yeah, and the chickens start squawking and flying around. Go on, go on, what happened? Well, one of the hens got excited and laid an egg, and it landed on Jenny's head. The hen? No, the egg. And it broke yucky all over her hair. What did she do? She got mad because she thought Tommy threw it. So she threw it one at him. What did Tommy do? Oh, he ducked and the egg hit Marianne in the face. She threw one at Jenny, but it missed Jenny, who dropped his bow constrictor and hit Jimmy. And I know the next thing you know, everybody was throwing eggs, right? Right. And when you ran out of eggs, you threw pig corn, right? Right again. Well, that's finally stopped. What finally stopped it? Well, we heard the farmer's wife screaming. Why was she screaming? We never found out because Miss Stanley made us get on the school bus and we sort of left in a hurry without the boa constrictor. But I bet Jimmy was sad because he left his boa constrictor. Not really. We 
left in such a hurry that one of the pigs didn't get off the school bus, so now he has a pet pig. Boy, that sure sounds like an exciting trip. Yeah, I suppose, if you're a kind of kid who likes class field trips to the farm. That's the end of our story.